my name is Suzanne from Nonstop Paper Crafts. Welcome back to my craft room. So today I am working on a layered tag. This is a challenge in the Line.Arrow Facebook group and Natalie has supplied some freebies to be able to do the layered tag. This is part of a collaboration that she's doing with Rach and Bella Crafts. So I believe the tags are a mix of both of their summer bloom kits. So there are different tags, um, different sizes, so you can layer them up. I'm also using some of the tags, and these are teeny, teeny, tiny ones, from Natalie's Torn Edges kit. Uh, many of you know I'm on Natalie's design team. This is not a design team project, but I absolutely love the Torn Edges, Edges kit, so I am making a new journal using that. So I'm incorporating the Torn Edges in my layered tags just so I can then use these in the journal that I am making. As well as these tags, I am going to be using some die cuts to embellish. So um, I have already started cutting some out. I am using the dies that I received from BB Crafts um, a little while ago. There is an unboxing video. I will link that down below if you want to see that. So you can see everything that I got in the order. But I'm using some of these dies to help decorate my layered tags. Okay, so let's get started. I'm just going to move the dies out of the way because I've already done my cutting. So in the freebies you get these which are all on one page. So these kind of go together. You get this set which go together and they're absolutely beautiful designs on them. You also get a couple of pages with slightly smaller tags which again I've already kind of prepped and cut out and then as I say I'm just going to be using these even smaller ones just to help kind of layer and decorate because I want these to go in my new journal. So I'm going to start I think with this one up at the top. Um, I really love the blue script on this and while they're going to be layered um, I don't mind if they're all a little bit wonky so I'm going to have this one slightly coming off the edge and to the side and then what I'm going to do in a moment is sew those together and then I'm going to want this one is going to slightly come off of this edge and then I want one of these smaller ones or do I have two small ones let's have a look oh, see that's got blues in which might be quite nice with that actually more music so I might have that one there and then the smaller one there and I'm going to sew around this one as well but I'm also then going to make this a side tuck sorry my phone just started ringing so I had to go and sort that out so yes yeah, so I'm going to sew these three then together and then when I attach them to these bottom two I'm going to make this a kind of a side pocket so they're all nicely layered up and then I'm going to add some embellishments so I'm thinking of, if I just move that up a little bit, of having some of these mushrooms and maybe one of these leaves and maybe popping those behind. I've got these teeny tiny ones, and maybe sort of stacking it up like that just to kind of decorate uh, the front a little bit. So that's what I'm thinking. I'm just going to move those tags because I've noticed we've got a little bit of a glare from the ring light. But that's how I'm going to kind of layer mine up. Um, I might, in between these two back ones, have a bit of cheesecloth just to kind of add some texture at the top here. Um, I possibly won't do that too much down here because obviously we've got all this going on as well. Um, but then maybe add some lace to the side. And then, as I say, that's going to be a side pocket um, there. But then obviously when you flip the whole thing over, there'll be journaling space on the back as well. So a multi-purpose tag um, journal card, I guess. So I'm going to go and do my sewing first and then we can start assembling this one. Okay, so here are my pieces sewn. So I've just sewn those two together and then obviously there's still lots of journaling space on the back and those three have been sewn together. It doesn't matter how it looks on the back because obviously that's going to get stuck onto there and then that's going to become a side pocket. So before I stick the pocket down, I am going to just decorate that. I'm probably going to uh, punch a hole in this one and this one to have um, a kind of ribbon or something coming out of the top as well. 
Um, obviously I would normally do this hole here but since that's been covered I am going to do this one and I know it's a bit wonky it's off to the side but obviously this is a layered tag so it just makes it look a little bit more fun I think so I'm going to have a ribbon come through here and one through there as well so I'm just going to decorate the front here so I was going to use uh, this green leaf one of these mushrooms and then my smaller mushrooms kind of nestled in there like that. So I'm just going to glue those pieces down. haven't got one of these fine tipped, uh, fine nibbed bottles I absolutely recommend them. Uh, mine tends to get very gluey but I absolutely love them they're really good for little fiddly things like this. just to weight it down a little bit while we wait for that glue to dry. Um, I think I've said in a previous video but the glue I use is Kalal glue, it's an all-purpose one. Uh, so it's this one, so it's a universal um, glue, it's really really good, um, really great for paperwork so it doesn't seem to warp it. So that's why I've chosen to use that glue and I use it for most things if I'm honest. Right, okay. So that's that bit decorated, how cute does that look? Um, when I die cut these all I did was to decorate them so the green is just green card but for the mushrooms I used like watercolored pencils and then just you kind of use some water to kind of blend them a little bit so that's what I used to kind of color my mushrooms I think they turned out quite cute so that's going to go on there oh I'll tell you what I did forget to do I was going to put some cheesecloth behind there I forgot that didn't I never mind I can do that on the next one so now I want some ribbon or lace to go in those. So let's go and fetch my ribbons. Okay, so I've just pulled out um, a couple of ribbon pieces that I'm going to try and put into here. So I'm just going to use my copper dial to punch the holes. Right, so what way round do I want this? I think I want the blue in here just so then it kind of ties those two together because you've got all to see the blues in there. So I think I'm going to put blue in the small one.
together. You can see how that will look, I guess. Now I'm not going to loop it like that, only because obviously this is quite a big gap. So I'm just going to try and push them through, and then I'll just join them together at the top. I think I might do is I'm just going to run it through my sewing machine just at the top here just to kind of hold those bits together and then that's going to be my top layer with that one there. Okay so I'm just going to go and sew that and then I'll be back. Okay so that's that sewn just along there. Um, obviously if you don't use a sewing machine or like using them in your uh, paper cross you can just staple that or use the actual hole which would have been here so it would have been closer to the top which would have made that easier then to loop through but because I chose the second hole it just would have been too far away okay those threads so that's my base tag then this one's going to go on here as my pocket so I'm just going to get that bit glued down and then that's one done one layered tag I'm just holding it for a moment at the top, so obviously where it's bulky here with the ribbon, it obviously wants to pull away from the paper. Um, but that is the first layered tag, and obviously that's a pocket, so you can put stuff in there once obviously this has all dried. Plus you can also use it as a bit of journaling space uh, on the back. So yeah, very cool, first one done. Right, so the next one I have these papers. So these have all of these beautiful um, sunflowers on, which I really like. And then I've made, um, I guess, kind of like a daisy type flower. Uh, but I thought it just went really, really lovely. So again, same as with the mushrooms, I just did some watercolour on the tip um, just to kind of uh, give it a little bit of colour and then in the middle as well. So I'm going to use those, perhaps some more greenery. Um, just thinking how I want to layer these because I've got some lovely sunflowers there. Um, I'm not necessarily going to make this one a pocket though, I think I might just make it like a stacked tag slash journaling card. So I'm thinking I might play around with the orientation. So maybe pop that one there. Ooh, okay, that's got a lovely flower on it, so I kind of want to use it. Mm. has 
I think we're going to have those. And let's see. Oh, that's a lovely daisy. We'll maybe have the daisy tag. I think that just blends in too much. I do really like this. So maybe I might just have this coming in sideways. Obviously, chop the end off. that kind of there and then it's kind of like a big wonky journaling card then isn't it and then we can have maybe our daisy down in the corner and curly leaf something like that so just imagine that chopped off so something like that okay Cover up that ring light so you're not getting the glare. Um, okay. So what I'm going to do is just take that off because I'll stick that on at the end. These I'm just going to dab a little bit of glue on just to hold them in place while I am sewing. And then, um, yeah, I'll come back and we can kind of build it all together. Um, I'm also going to just ink around the edges just because they were supposed to have dark edges but some of them I've just trimmed off a bit much so I'm going to ink around all of these ones. Right, okay, so that's that inked, so I'm going to pop that one on there to the side, that one's going to kind of lay over, I'm going to try and get that sunflower in, and that one's going to kind of be there, and then that one down there. Yeah, okay, so a little bit of glue here and there then, just to hold it in place. No, I think I won't put that one on there because obviously I'm going to have this embellishment as well. That's going to be chopped off. Um, okay, right, so I am just going to go and sew all of that into place then. And then we can start some decorating. Okay, so here we go. This has all been sewn around now and attached. The only thing I've kind of added was um, a little bit of kind of like linen across the edge and I've kind of put a little bit in there as well just to kind of add some texture a little bit. We might add some lace as well in a second. So I'm just going to start again just putting this back to kind of just double check that this is where I want it in this corner. got the leaves coming out and then maybe a curly one as well so yeah I'm going to add those bits there
Okay, so that's that down in that corner. So I have left the flower slightly raised because I do want a little bit of dimension on there, but obviously I don't want it too bulky so that when you obviously do some writing on the back, um, this is then obviously in the way of that. So um, I've just lifted up the petals slightly around the edges and just glued down in the center. Uh, let's have a think what else we can add to this then. Okay, so I've managed to find, um, this is just an old um, bed sheet, but it's got the kind of florals and the same sort of colours and things that are in here with the leaves. So I'm just going to put an eyelet in this one um, and then thread this through. And I think that's it, because I think with all the textures and all the different kind of like layouts that we've got of the tags, this looks um, pretty enough. And obviously we've got that down the side, so I don't really want to add too much to it, because like I said, obviously if it's a journaling card, I don't want it too bulky. So let's get an eyelet in this one and then we can add that last bit of fabric just to kind of finish it off. Okay, so those are my two layered tags. So just a reminder then, we've got this one here, which I did first. So we've got um, some fabric at the top to make them look tag-like, but also I've got a side tuck. So some of the other freebies we could perhaps tuck into there. And then obviously I can put some of these smaller tags, which are from the Torn Edges kit, also in there. And actually it looks even more layered now, doesn't it? So really love how that turned out. I really love the die cuts that I've used as well. Um, as I said in my unboxing video, I do like to pick dies that I can use in a range of things. So some of them for cards. So like this one, I made a card for my friend using some of the flower dies and I really like how that turned out. So I like to be able to make sure that the dies that I buy are suitable for multiple purposes. So whether it's greeting cards or using in my journals and albums that I make. But yeah, really love that one. Um, and then we've got this slightly larger one. Again, I've just kind of angled some of the uh, tags to the side. Again, use some die cuts and then just bits of fabric to add some texture. But yeah, really love how these turned out. Well, thank you very much for joining me today. I will put the link down below to the Line.Arrow Facebook group in case you are interested in taking part in these challenges yourself. Um, like I said, you get access to all the freebies that Natalie kind of gives away for these challenges. I will also put the link down below for the BB Crafts and my unboxing video so that you can have a look at their fantastic dies as well. Well, thank you very much, everybody. I hope you have a wonderful crafty day and I will see you in the next video. I'll see you later now. Bye bye. Thank you.